Can I give that to you? Can I give that to you? You want a little bit of that? Yeah! Joe, how many fingers you got left here? I got, uh, there we go! I can almost count! <laughs> that 10. <laughs> Well, a good day for a gator wrestler is any day you walk out not bleeding, or at least not missing any any uh, appendages. And a bad day is the day that you do <laughs> lose some appendages. The day of an alligator wrangler starts off with cutting the beef. <clears throat> we don't really keep track of how many cameramen we've lost, as long as there's no evidence left. We got some alligators in 1987 to be garbage disposals for the fish farm and people found out we had them and they started dropping off their pet alligators that they couldn't take care of anymore as well as pythons and iguanas and rattlesnakes and all sorts of other crazy critters so we became a rescue park uh, this is Mo mr bo mangles and uh, he's an albino alligator and there's actually only about 50 albino alligators in the world uh, so uh, he's very rare you want a little bit of that yeah <laughs> All right. Woo! Well, they can go 30 miles per hour. Wow. They can also turn sideways very quickly to bite you. They can also, if you're holding on to the mouth, they can pull free really quickly and come back to bite you. That's how I almost lost this thumb. That, that's why we, we teach you how to wrestle them without ever touching the mouth. And, you know, if we made that part of the class, grabbing the mouth and holding it shut, we'd probably have 50% of our students end up getting bit. And as it is, the way we teach you, we have maybe 5% of our students get bit. She can only turn side to side to bite. And so uh, you're only really in danger getting on and getting off. Once you're on the alligator, all you have to do is stay seated until the ride is over and keep hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. Yeah, it's a good girl. Ah. These are actually fantastic life skills you can bring out into the public, correct? I'd imagine you can break up bar brawls, whatnot, and pin somebody down really good if you can handle an eight-foot alligator. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I worked as a bouncer in a bar, and I'd still rather hang out the alligators most of the time. <laughs> more much, predictable, maybe? More, pre more predictable, yeah. <laughs> and they're a heck of a lot prettier than most of your dates, correct? Oh, yeah. I think I took her to prom. <laughs>